find your laid back beach vibe at Carolina Beach, which is one of the most down to earth beaches on the Atlantic coast located in North Carolina. Hey guys, it's Jake and welcome to the channel where I share travel videos, tips and recommendations. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about Carolina Beach in North Carolina. We'll be talking about the best things to do, where to eat and whether it is a great place to bring your family. But first, if you guys could do me a favor and hit that like button, it just lets YouTube know that people have the content so it will get shared with more people, which is a huge help for somebody like me. But enough of that, let's dive into what to do in Carolina Beach. We stayed in the Airbnb, which is more expensive than we typically spend, but after going up and down the coast, we wanted to stay in a place that we liked, and this place could not be beat because it was right on the beach and had an amazing view. The price was about $170 per night with those crazy $100 cleaning fees, then added on. Carolina Beach is a small town with a population around 6,000 people and is an hour and 45 minutes away from Myrtle Beach, three and a half hours away from Charlotte, and 20 minutes away from Wilmington, North Carolina. Carolina Beach State Park sits along the Cape Fear River and is home to fishing spots and the Fly Trap Trail, which is named for the carnivorous plant along its path. Carolina Beach was recently named the fourth safest city in the state by safety.com and is the perfect destination for those who love fishing or boating. The convergence of the Cape Fear River, the intercoastal waterway, and the Atlantic Ocean make fishing near Carolina Beach the best around. There are opportunities for surf fishing, bottom fishing, shell fishing, and deep sea fishing. So basically every kind of fishing you can think of. And if you're not a fishing enthusiast like myself, there are still other things to do like the beach, the Carolina Beach Boardwalk, which offers shops, restaurants, and amusement rides. To be honest, I didn't see the amusement rides, but I was told they were there. But the shops can range from anything from clothes to souvenirs, while the restaurants have a wide variety as well, from coffee shops to barbecue places, some nicer places but the one place that you'll have to go is brit's donut shop which has been a consistent landmark on the carolina beach boardwalk since 1939 they are a small store that only makes glazed donuts they're kind of like Krispy cream but roughly a million times better just a heads up they only take cash though the best times to visit are during July and August when the average high is 85 degrees Fahrenheit. The month with the lowest average high temperature is January which comes in at 55 degrees Fahrenheit. The beaches can get pretty busy as you can see from this video so you'll want to make sure to get there early to get a spot that you would like. Besides enjoying the nice water, other things that you can do would be to check out the Outer Banks, which is a pretty iconic destination in North Carolina. We had planned to check it out, but after getting to Carolina Beach, we decided against it because to drive there, it would take you a couple hours each way. And after being to a couple beaches up and down the coast, we figured it's probably not going to look a whole lot different. So we figured we stayed by Carolina Beach and enjoyed the rest of our time there. I had a hard time figuring out how long Carolina Beach is, but I did find that there are 20 lifeguard stations across the beach, making it a family friendly place for kids. From my opinion, Carolina Beach is a great place to stay, whether you're choosing to hang out by the beach, walk across the quarter and a half mile boardwalk, to check out the shops or grab some local food. There might not be as many overall attractions as in Myrtle Beach, but I enjoyed my time so much more in Carolina Beach. 
Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a better idea of things to do in Carolina Beach. And if you're interested in other travel destinations, you can check out my channel page or there's a link down for some travel articles. And if you guys wanna be around for when I post my next video, do not forget to subscribe. See you guys next time.